Let's talk about annual station maintenance. You know, there's nothing in this world that doesn't require maintenance sooner or later. Your automobile, this house, they all require maintenance to stay in top performance. And that's true for the advanced termite bait station as well. Now we recommend that you perform an annual maintenance on these stations at least at a 12 to 15 month interval. Now when you're doing that, you're going to require several tools you're going to have to have with you. And the first one, obviously, is the spider. This allows you to gain access to the station so that you can, in fact, maintain it. So you'll have to have a spider with you. Then you're going to require the use of a cotter pin puller. These are available at Home Depot, Lowe's, you can get them just about anywhere. And they're very handy for extracting the termite inspection cartridge. You know, there's the small holes on the top of these and you can insert this into those holes and pull it straight out of the station. They can also be used for extracting the termite monitoring base by inserting the cotter key puller tip into the slot on the inside of the wood and pulling it up out of the station. Very handy tool. Make sure you have one available. The next tool you may find essential is this nail puller. Now, you may not always need this, but occasionally the wood swells in the station a little bit. And it's a little difficult to extract. And I've found that a tool like this, when inserted down into the station and then the tip inserted into the groove in the termite monitoring base, gives you a little more purchase for pulling that out of the station. So these are handy also, available Home Depot, Lowe's, similar type locations. Now, once you've removed the termite inspection cartridge and the termite monitoring base, you may have a little housekeeping to do. If you look down in there, you may find that some debris has fallen in there, collected some excess dirt. And for getting that up out of the station, we've developed a clean-out auger. It's fairly lightweight. You use it with a rechargeable drill, and you insert it down into the station and go like that. And that will pull the material that's fallen down in there out of the station. It's just what it says it is, a clean-out auger. So it's an excellent idea to have one of these also. So now you've pulled out the termite monitoring base, the termite inspection cartridge. You've cleaned out the debris from inside the station. What next? Well, since this is our annual station maintenance, we're going to be replacing the termite monitoring base. Take the old one out, dispose of it, and insert a new one. On top of that, we're going to be installing a new termite inspection cartridge. And that's what you have to do on an annual basis to keep the advanced termite baiting system operating in peak performance so that it is highly attractive to subterranean termites. Now, while you're doing this maintenance, should you come to a station you know that you've got activity in and perhaps you have a bait cartridge in, you can inspect that, but do not extract the termite monitoring base at that point in time. In other words, follow your typical quarterly inspection of any baited station. But don't go ahead and pull all the material out of it. You may cause an eruption in the feeding on the bait cartridge at that time. Now, let's take these tools and go over to a station and I'll show you how we do what we've just discussed. All right, here's the station we're going to use to demonstrate the annual maintenance of an advanced termite bait station. Now, I need to point out, we just put this station in the ground, so it's new. Now, the ones you're going to encounter may have grass grown over them, may have dirt or leaves, debris on top of them. And in that case, sometimes the first thing you're going to do is use a small broom to sweep it off or clean it off before you remove the station cap. Now to do that, of course, you use the spider. This particular spider is attached to a long handle extension, which you may find useful, but you can also use the spider by itself. <clears throat> now you insert it onto the top of the cap, 
and in a quick motion to the left or counterclockwise, you turn it and lift. And as you'll notice, that the cap is retained in the spider. Now, if you look in here, what we see is, of course, the first thing we're going to spot, the termite inspection cartridge. Now, as I showed you earlier, a handy way to remove that inspection cartridge is with your cotter key pin remover or puller. Simply insert it into the hole and lift up. And that's how you remove it. It's that simple. Now, remember, we're on an annual maintenance here. So we're going to be replacing this as well as the termite monitoring base. And again, using your cotter key puller, you reach down into the station, insert the tip of the puller into the groove in the termite monitoring base, and lift up like that. Remove both halves. Now, I should point out that if the station you come to to service is one that you have an active termite bait cartridge in where you have an actual hit, you will go ahead and remove the cap and inspect the station like you normally would, but you would not remove the termite monitoring base and disturb the termites. So that's the only time you would not replace all of the material on the 12 to 15 month interval.